Canada's 150th, or the upcoming celebration of Canada's 150th uh, anniversary, I think is a seminal point uh, in today's uh, in today's Canada. Uh, over the last uh, 25 to 30 years, uh, Canadian arts and Canadian artists have moved to the forefront uh, internationally uh, in uh, in all aspects of the arts: filmmaking, uh, music, uh, television, uh, and theatre. Uh, some of the best-known artists uh, in the world are Canadian. And I think in celebration of Canada's 150th uh, anniversary, I think it's important that, uh, that we showcase that talent. I think it's important for many reasons. One, um, as an identifying marker or self-identifying marker for Canadians, who we are and what we contribute uh, to the world stage, uh, especially on an arts and cultural level, but also in telling our stories and, and sharing who we are with the rest of the world. And I think um, for that 150th and moving on from there, I think, I think it's important that we uh, establish a means for arts and arts organizations, for artists and arts organizations to spread the word of what uh, Canada is for our authors, for our playwrights, for our filmmakers uh, to be able to go out into the world and say this is what Canada is and entice people to come and see us in our home, to come to our theatres here, to come and see our movies, to uh, listen to our music. We've got uh, awesome, very unique sounds, Arcade Fire, um, um, uh, I want to say, yeah, I know there are. Uh, <laughs> I want to say the Halifax band, but um, I can't remember their name now. But uh, there, there is a unique, wonderful sense, uh, uh, which uh, with little nuances right across the country that we uh, want to share, need to share with each other and the rest of the world. And I think um, one of the most important things that we can do is create a means for our artists to share that.